Well, good day everyone and welcome to uh, my first video of 2020. We are on the boat. We have Luke from Aquatic Rehab. We have Sam Morning. from OXS. And we have me and we're on an epic, epic trip today. We are out off the tip of New Zealand. You may see New Zealand in the far distance over there. But uh, we're headed for the Three Kings Islands. We're going to stay overnight. It's a dive trip, so we've got loads and loads of dive gear. And um, yeah, we're looking for some pretty epic diving. So yeah, let's go. Man, this is epic, guys. We got come on, wicked sign on the sounder. We got beautiful, calm conditions. Excitement levels are pretty high. Well, all right. Got an empty boat. Sam and Luke have gone in there for a quick dive. I'm just going to hop in here. This is probably pretty much going to be our anchorage for the night. It's quite a nice calm little bay. We're just doing a little warm-up dive in here, hoping for maybe uh, some golden snapper, um, uh, crayfish, power. I don't know. We'll see what we get it when we get in. been in the water long when I happened across this beautiful little golden snapper I lined it up took the shot and missed a couple of drops later I found where he was hiding in a hole it was a little bit tricky to get lined up on him finally got the shot no missing this time. Over a ledge. I saw what I thought was a school of Terakee. When I looked closer, it was just a school of poor eye. There's a fair few of them there though. In a hole, I found a big fat crayfish. He wasn't getting away from me. trying to get off my hands. His claws were really digging into me. Well, all right, we're back out of the water. Cool little dive. Sorry. Got Luke destroying Sorry. everything. <laughs> Setting up his big gun. We're going to go and chase some kingies next. But uh, yeah, awesome little dive. And uh, managed my first golden snapper. So pretty happy about that. Nice little snapper. And uh, also found in the hole this boy. Nice big fat crayfish. So yeah, pretty cool dive. Well, all right, the boys are in the water now. I'm acting as boatman. Sam's just shot this nice trevally here. Nice fish, so we're just diving this point here, or they are just diving this point here in the hope the kingy might cruise through. Finally it was my turn to look for a kingy. And on my first drop, I had these guys coming for a look. They're pretty good sized kings, and I thought about shooting them. 
I even lunged out at this guy. Then just in the background I saw a much better fish. Decided to wait for him. There he is there, he's not coming in. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. A little bit longer. There he is. Oh. Damn, he's just not coming in close enough. By this time, I'm out of breath and I've got to go. There's a 30 here. Well, that was an epic little bit of kingy action and a bit of bad luck too, unfortunately. Um, I got my turn to jump into the kingy spot, so we, uh, I hopped in and and actually on my first drop, uh, went down and sat in the weed and, and had a bunch of kingies come through. You'll see that, you would have seen that on the video that there was like four kingies there and three of them were like really, really good size. One really big king and um saw that popped up and um luke joined me in the water then uh luke managed to get the spear into the into the really big kingfish and uh i headed down to get a second shot in it for him and um couldn't manage to get close enough i was just out of breath and uh in the end it ripped off the spear spent the spear destroyed the dynamo shooting line so yeah, not very happy about that, but uh, I guess that's the way it goes on, on really big kings. So anyway, we're tucked up in a quiet little bay here. The boys are already in the water. And um, I'm just chilling out, warming up a little bit, and then I'm going to hop in. The water is actually pretty chilly. It's 16 degrees, so yeah, it's been feeling a little bit cool. I hopped in after just talking and um, swam along a bit and I uh, wasn't really seeing a huge amount. Got to a point and just saw a whole lot of trevally and uh, in the interim my camera's card went full but uh, managed to bang this trev. Nice trev. Sam over here, he came and joined me. He smacked another trev about the same size and while that was going on Luke's been up to something. Just what else, the eating size? Yeah, just nice, nice dinner size. Dinner nice, <laughs> nice little dinner size kingy here. Oh, well, hold it up, mate. Hold it up. If you can. <laughs> yes. He's got a long one too. Yeah, he's decent fish, man. Awesome, awesome fish. So yeah, while we we're playing with the Trevallis. Luke had seen a couple of snapper, put a little kinny burly, burly down and uh, that thing came swimming straight at him so he, he couldn't really resist that. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty damn awesome. Not too sure what we're up to now, we might be going to park up and have a feed. Well alright, we're at our anchorage for the night, we've got somewhat clean decks. There's a whole lot of gear stored up the front there. We've uh, got the cooker over here, cranked up. We've got a cray tail being prepped up here. Alright, we've got a crayfish wrap happening here. A bit of green stuff, a bit of crayfish, a bit of blue cheese, a bit of uh, hummus. hummus. Okay, crayfish wrap. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And look at that. Not bad. Oh, good morning, everyone. This is what waking up with the Three Kings is like. Nice and serene. Dental hygiene. Sam's got some dental hygiene going on. And uh, it's pretty nice. We uh, had a reasonable sleep last night for being three guys on a boat. Um, so yeah, I think everyone's probably got a few hours, maybe two or three hours. So 
we're getting up and getting ready to dive again. We've got to really want to be heading back towards the mainland by about midday, so we're going to make the most of the morning. In our first spot of, for the day, there are a few kingfish floating around. Covered on it then. One I think would have been 20. It's a nice little turkey down there too. I had to take the opportunity to take this turkey. I'd never shot one before. later Sam managed to shoot a kingfish. I dived down on it to see whether he needed a second shot. Pretty happy that the spear was gone all the way through and he had a good holding shot in it. I decided to have a look at this other kingy that was swimming around it. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. Halfway through the fight, I could see the spear was starting to tear out. So I had to take it really, really easy. If I put too much pressure on the fish, it would have ripped off. Finally, I got my hands to it. I think the fight time for this fish was around 10 minutes. I have to take it real easy, eh? Oh. That's what took me so long. back out of the water and managed to smack a nice king there. It's not huge, definitely not big, even by three, even even by normal standards, not huge, but by three king standards, it's pretty small, but we're sort of coming towards the end of the trip and uh, I wanted to take something, so yes, managed it. Right, so we've come in a bit um, on shore and the boys are just over there grabbing some power. So I'm just about to join them. It wasn't long before I found a crack that was loaded up with power. A fairly good size and not that hard to get off either. drop I found 
found some really big power. Well, really big for Northland. You guys down in South Island probably think these are pretty small. After I got my limit, Sam handed me the camera and had a little bit of a play filming the guys. Back out of the water. Boys are still over there chasing a goldie they saw. Quite a big goldie actually. They're going to try and shoot it. And um, I've got the bag of power with me, so I've got a nice bag of power here. It's, um, yeah. Nice bag of power got our limit so uh, this is pretty much it what we're gonna now do is as soon as these guys get this gold and jump back on the boat we're gonna start heading back to the mainland well we're exiting the three kings I have to say this trip has been epic like absolutely amazing first time I've been up here for about five years I suppose actually two of the islands I've been up pretty close to them but not actually to the islands and dived around them and that and yeah like we can't fit all our all our seafood in the first bin we gotta put some in the other one in our food bin but yeah I guess I'll talk to you when we got the boat probably back on the trailer far north white lady white lady yeah we're safely back in Hohora Harbour Thanks, uh, thanks for your watch. Over. Well, here we are. We're back on the trailer. Beautiful Hohora. The beautiful Hohora Harbour. Looking stunning on a, on a lovely day. What an epic trip, man. Sam's, Sam's uh, taken off with our kingies that we shot today. He's going to smoke them for us. So, pretty happy about that. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Epic trip. The weather was just like perfect. The boat ran flawlessly. Good company. Words can't describe, but I, I guess you've probably seen all the footage anyway, so you, you kind of get the idea it was pretty special. But um, yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, eh? Cheers.